Welcome to Rock Finds TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You will now be seated. Today is Monday, February 28th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous weekend. Now, let's take a brain break. Hey, hey Joshua. Joshua. Hey, do you want to go get ice cream later after school? Uh, I don't think I will be up for it. Why not? Because I got a 40% on my test. It's not even that bad. Come on, let's go get ice cream. And my grade is going to go down, and my mom is going to be so disappointed in me. Whatever, it's not even bad. Let's just go get ice cream. In this situation, Joshua is sad that he failed a test, and his friend just ignores it, and his feelings, and doesn't ask how he feels. Destiny showed no empathy towards Joshua. And as a reminder, empathy is the ability to understand and share feelings with each other. This situation can be easily fixed by recognizing the other person's feelings. Now let's try this again. Hey Joshua. Hey Destiny. Do you want to go get ice cream later after school? Uh, I don't think I would be up for it. Why not? I got a 40% on my test and my mom is going to be disappointed when my grade goes down. Hey man, I got a 50% so my mom's going to be disappointed too. Maybe we can just get ice cream some other time. Alright, thanks. The second time around, Destiny is more empathetic towards Joshua by recognizing how Joshua feels. Having empathy is important because it helps us understand how others are feeling so we can respond appropriately to the situation. So next time you see yourself in this kind of situation, remember to have empathy. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique. See you later. Now it's time for our word of the day segment. Hey Valencia. Thanks for coming to help me study. I've been putting it on for so long. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Next time, try not to procrastinate. <laughs> what does procrastinate mean? Oh, procrastinate means to put off, delay, or hesitate. Don't worry, I've been putting off studying all day too. So it's not just me? <laughs> no. Thanks for helping me learn this new word. No problem. I came here to help anyways. See, See you, you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the Day. day. Now, let's get some facts about Black History with Aiden. Hey Patriots, today in Black History, we're going to be talking about Barry Gordy. Barry Gordy was born on November 28, 1929. He's a retired record executive, record producer, film producer, and songwriter. Barry Gordy is best known as the founder of the Motown record label, Subside Diaries. This was so significant because Motown was the highest earning African American business for decades. It made $61 million in revenue. Thanks to him, we've discovered so much African-American talent. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Aiden. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today, we will be talking about the pool stick. Pool is a game usually played indoors on a cloth-covered table. In the game's early stages, players used maces, which were long wooden tools that looked like a very skinny wooden shovel. Because the mace's bulky head made it hard to hit the small balls accurately, they decided to chop them off. The leather tip was added later on when they realized the sharp cue stick would tear the table's cloth. Managing the pool stick isn't easy. We'll let the pro stick to it. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheese pizza, crunchy blend vegetables, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds absolutely delicious. Sports fans, plans for our boys' basketball team starts today. Let's wish some good luck, and I know I will. Let's go, Patriots. Patriots, the hero story is over. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. 
calling all Patriot musicians. The middle school drum line tryouts are tomorrow, March 1st from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Tryouts are in the music room 134. You must sign up via Sign Up Genius in order to try out. See the flyer for the link URL for music teacher Mrs. Santiago. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angelie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. It looks like a great opportunity to jump in your pool. Another weather news. As you know, sandstorms are dangerous, but the most dangerous are haboobs. These sandstorms are combined with lightning, storms, rushing winds, and of course sand. These storms are most common in Arizona, New Mexico, Eastern California, and Texas. If you ever travel to these states, beware of the haboobs. Now let's go to Destiny and Chanel for today's hot topic. Thank you, Randy. I'm back, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, hot topic. topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. The All-Star Games were a hit. It was Team LeBron versus Team Durant. Team LeBron won with a, store, a score of 163 to 160. In my opinion, I knew LeBron would win. It was definitely entertaining. A new small restaurant has recently been trending in Pembroke Pines. Churroholic is a small cafe that sells sundaes, milkshakes, coffee, and of course, churros. Can't wait to see what the hype is about. Last week Tuesday, the beloved kids show, Arthur, aired its last episode after 25 seasons. Arthur's first episode aired on October 7, 1996. It's bittersweet. I grew up with that show. Arthur would definitely be missed. It's been an amazing month, but Black History Month has come to an end, but not forever. We'll always come back and celebrate our beautiful history. Can't wait for next year. Me too. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to Joshua for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are... Zoe Harris, Valia Escorcia, Mateo Espinoza, and Layla John Vier. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Peyton. Scholars, here are your Pat's accreditations. They represent presenting yourself positively, I can encourage others, do the schools and very respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Only, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. June, and Ms. Stone. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, what year was the very first model of the iPhone released? The correct answer is 2007. Teaching the scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which singer's real name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Giornata? Teaching, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year, we're all about fundamentals in Ford Focus. Have a great day.